Hey guys, thanks for coming back to the channel. And uh, we got a fun, exciting thing to share with you guys today. So those of you that have been following the channel for a while, you guys know that uh, we've had some bears. Welcome to Hidden Valley Homestead, where my wife Olivia and I escaped the city to homestead our off-grid property in Idaho. This is our journey. When I'm away from work, how am I going to protect this beautiful girl right here? Um, Marley, as you've all come to love, uh, doesn't bark or do anything. So we are going to go pick up a couple of dogs. Come join us. Yeah. Wow, there it is. Big. Wow, they just ran right up to you. They like totally the remember you, honey. Oh my gosh. You can go down to Bella. Come here, Bella. Oh, they're adorable. Bella, oh, he's Bella. He's big. Bella. Oh, she's yeah, a she's a lover. And, and they're like, jealous as heck, aren't I'll be they? Like this with her <laughs> in the house, and he'll run up and try and give you a kiss and put his teeth right in your lips. <laughs> hello, dear. Hello, dear. Oh yes, hello, dear. Wow, that's so kind of you. Oh. Yeah, no you said you thought she was pregnant. I don't think she is. Okay. I know she went in the heat. Yeah. Because he was humping her all he could and yeah. licking her down there, and, but I don't think she is. Okay. Oh. All right, we got them in. We got them in the car. We had to trick them with a ball. They were excited, but yeah, we are excited to get them home. So, what do you think, honey? Are you ready for this? Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of work. Are you Are you excited for uh, two protectors? I yeah, am. it's gonna be a lot of work. I'm for excited sure. to train them. Yeah. So. Okay. Bye. Well, let's get them home and. Uh, Give it a try. Right. <laughs> Here we go, guys. All right, guys, remember, you're introducing them to Marley. This is Barrett. He's the male, and he's big boy. He's not quite a year yet, but he's a good boy. And then we have, we have Barrett, and we have Bella. And we're gonna introduce them to Marley one at a time. So here we go, guys. You guys saw how they took to uh, Olivia. They love Olivia. Well, here's Olivia's dog. Marley? Who's that? Who is that, Barrett? Who is that, Barrett? Who is that? Barrett? Who is that? Barrett. Easy, easy. Barrett. Holy smokes, he's so full of muscle. Barrett. Good boy. 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 Yes, he's like a step. Good boy. Good boy, Barrett. Good boy. Settle. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy, Barrett. Good boy, Barrett. He doesn't care about treatment now. He might lunch. He might, he might work at her. Well, I don't want Marley to lunge at her. She's not going to lunge at him. Well, you know how she is, boss. Good boy, Barrett. Good boy. Look at his tail. Good boy, Tail's Barrett. wagging, guys. I think we're good. <laughs> Okay, guys, they say we have we have done our research. You know us at Hidden Valley Homestead. We research everything to death. And they say to enter, when you're introducing dogs, you introduce them on leashes, carefully, slowly, maintaining control all the time. And you want to do the male first, since we have a male Rottweiler together with a female Rottweiler who are their play buddies. So they are both very jealous of each other. Uh, and so you have to introduce them to the third party here very gently. And he is, his tail is wagging. You watch their body language and he's doing little, little shakes and body, uh, body, uh, so you can see, you guys can see him playing and he's shaking his tail. I'm watching that little stub go back and forth. That means he's happy. So Marley has already submitted. She wants to play. Um, we're going to keep them kennel trained. We were firm believers in discipline for, for dogs they thrive that way. So they're gonna be going into a kennel 
at night and the only time that they're coming out because these two um, Rottweilers, I almost said Doberman, <laughs> these two Rottweilers have very little discipline. They are housebroken, but they have not been trained because they're so young. So <clears throat> give you a quick little history on where these dogs came from. So we had been looking into a guard dog for Olivia of some sort. We didn't want an LGD, a livestock guardian dog, because we didn't want any livestock. And we wanted them to be a family dog, but protective. Uh, I had looked into Rottweilers and knew that they were fantastic animals, fantastic dogs, very family oriented. And uh, they're very defensive, very territorial. And once they bond to you, they call them a hip dog or a pocket dog because as soon as you turn they're right there at your hip pocket and you'll trip over them. So we had been asking the question to num numbers of friends with lots of friends have had Rottweilers and they loved them. Very friendly but very very defensive. We had a subscriber that had raised Rottweilers for quite a while and he had a couple of Rottweilers, they, these two right here. And our subscriber uh, let us let us meet meet both of these puppies, and they both were very very friendly. Bear, settle down, settle down. He just wants to play. Not yet. He wants to play. So we had a subscriber that had these two puppies, and he had some unforeseen. Uh, uh, health issues and was no longer able to take care of them and so he offered them to us to take them and we were more than ecstatic to be able to take them. We're very very grateful uh, to Rot Dog for his generosity and uh, we wish him the best and hope that he uh, does well. Now it's time for Bella to meet Marley. So we bring Bella out and she also is just, she's a year old and just pure muscle. And you can see me hanging on to her. Well, she is a handful. But the meeting went really well. Marley gets along with just about every dog out there. And both of these dogs are so well-mannered and well-natured. Purebred Rottweilers. We really hope that Rot Dog makes a full recovery. And at some point, if he makes a full recovery and he's able to, to handle these dogs, we would gladly give them back to us. But for now, they're on loan. We're hoping to keep them forever. And uh, we'll see how it goes. So far, so good. Well guys, the introduction went well, and uh, we're excited because now I can leave Olivia in the hands of a couple of bear hunting dogs. So guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys on the next video. If you guys like what we're doing here, hit that, uh, hit that thumbs up or thumbs down either way. Hit that notification, subscribe, and share our videos. A couple empty nesters out here off grid. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye. Okay. Wrong. Down. Wrong. Stay. Stay. Wrong. Down. Stay. Good girl. Definitely need some discipline. Stay. Good girl. She listens. Yes, you're a good dog. Yes, you're a good mama. Yes, you are. Yes. Man, they look like bears.
teşekkür ederim. Ben. Yeah. I'm already playing. <laughs> <laughs> 